Well, I did manage to find a truck. I was telling you in the last video, I looked and looked and looked and looked and cast my net pretty far, far enough that I was getting into where I, I wasn't gonna bother traveling that far and there was gonna be rust issues and stuff like that. But I actually ended up finding this truck pretty locally to me, probably about 60 miles from here down south. So, I guess we'll uh, check it out. We'll just see what kind of shape this thing is in. So, this is a 1995 Ford F-350 XL Power Stroke diesel with a 5-speed in it. And, um, I kind of, in the video that I made then, I didn't really let on what I'd bought except for the fender. So, you know, I bought a Ford, but... Um, I thought I wasn't gonna find a diesel anywhere. I looked and I looked and I looked and I looked and looked and this thing just popped up on Marketplace on Wednesday night. And I got down there yesterday afternoon and just waited around, just didn't do anything, just waited around and met the guy. And for the, for the price I gave for it, I didn't even drive it. He had told me what was wrong with it. So we'll get into that a little deeper there, but, um, you know, I, I wasn't just going to buy it without hearing it run or anything like that, but it had to run and be able to move and be able to stop. And it does all of those fairly well. So anyway, we just had a lot of rain move through here. It's cooled down. It's about 73 degrees out here. Normally it would be just about burning up. I'd about burned up yesterday afternoon waiting on the tow truck to get here or to get up there to pick this thing up but it's kind of a nice change so anyway let's look it over um usually when i get a truck or something like this i don't know anything about it but i the guy that i got it from he was a young guy and he didn't know he, he gave me a little bit of information about it, but he didn't tell me any names or anything like that but he just basically just left everything in it and I found out this truck was used to do gutter installation work for many years. And I've got a couple pictures of it when it was being used. One of them is not very good. They're just taken off the internet. The first one you're going to see is, there's actually, looks like there's two of them. And this one is sitting over, mostly obscured against the side of the, tr the trees on the side of the yard to the left over there. And I know it's I know which one's which because you'll tell the second picture shows it sitting in the person's yard a few years later, about ten years ago, and you can see it's been quite well used then. So anyway, there it is. And so you saw that it had a camper on the back of it, a shell on the back of it, and then it had a trailer attached to it. So that's what it's been used for, and that's been its life so apparently it had some kind of stuff on the side of it you can see it's got some remains of so some has been painted out the name I think that was on there you can see it's got the tow mirrors I guess these are tow mirrors they're pretty ugly kind of dent those are dented up like they've hit something a few times glasses in them uh, does not have any chicken chasers on it I'm glad of that I'm not a big fan of those things I think this truck sat for quite a while without being driven much. It is a crew cab. I wasn't specifically looking for a crew cab, but I'll take it. It's another white vehicle, just like the two I have already over there. Just fine. I like white. And the bed is not too bad. It's got some kind of ick on it. it needs to be it's like some kind of substance here that will peel off. That's good. Yeah. I don't know if this truck's been painted or not. It kind of looks like it has, man. Maybe the bed has. I don't think this is the bed that was on this truck because I see, I see white paint or red paint under it. So maybe it's maybe it is. I don't know. It's not terrible. It's got a hooey right there. I guess they call it a whiskey dent. It's got a tail light lens that is mostly off of it. About see, I see white paint here. I wonder what's going on there with that. But 
this stage is gay, it doesn't matter what's going on with it. But it had, the tailgate's missing and that picture showed me that this thing had, like I said, it had a shell in the back of it that came up and it came down and it had doors in the back of it. So that's, it came all, that's why the tailgate's missing and it's probably been missing for a long time. And it's got one of these chrome bumpers that I don't care for whatsoever. So I wouldn't be surprised if that goes away. So it's been used, of course. Oh, uh, it's got the dual tanks. I got another whiskey dent over here. This is a long bed. This is an eight foot bed. This is the longest truck board made. It's no slide rear window. these mirrors I think this is gonna have to go do something different there it's missing the it's missing the emblems off both sides of it well no it's not it's actually missing this one all the way but the power stroke is missing off of it so so I definitely have to put that back on so I know and everybody else knows what it is so I came around this way on purpose because you're gonna love this one I saved the best for last It's got the regular XL grill and it's got the F series frown where somebody's it's like they've hit run the bumper into something lightly and it when they do it spreads the ends of it out somehow. But check this out. <laughs> so this thing's actually got hood pins in it. And not only does it have hood pins, but the hood pins are cotter keys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, this is the first F series truck I've ever seen with hood pins in it. And looking around back here, I can just see how the story played out because it's got a dent here in the hood, and then this thing here, which I think is removable. I hope it is. If not, it's been the place it's got it's gotten in once already but this thing you can tell absolutely that this hood came back into the it came unlatched and came back into the looks like into the windshield i guess and i don't know how it didn't did it worse but the story i can see that must have happened was This thing came unlatched and the hood blew up and it probably made whoever owned this thing so mad that they said, I ain't never gonna let that happen again. By gosh, I'm gonna put hood pins in that SOB. Then we'll see if it'll ever come up, which I could almost kind of understand that. But <laughs> Dang. <laughs> so anyway, and it's got, looks like decent tires on it. They look like they're pretty old though. Just looking at them, they are uh, Cooper. Let's see if they're the right size. Yeah, looks like it. Well, no, I'll take that back. I don't know about that. It looks like it says 235-85-16. I thought they were supposed to be a little bit larger than that, but we'll look inside the door. They've got a DOT code of 46 of 18, so they're, well, they're okay. They're about five years old then. Not even five years old, so that's fine. I thought they were, I don't know, see what the size is on them, but I think this truck's supposed to have hubcaps on it. It doesn't have them tight. But one thing also it doesn't have, it doesn't have any rust on it. This truck was a southern truck, looks like, the whole way. And I saw that, I forgot to mention this. I hope this is not a bad sign here. But it's got a chain on it. And I don't know if that's a uh, and some wire hanging out. What is that? that can, oh, that's the. Oh yeah, here's the lock here. Cool. Yeah. Let's see where that goes. I think this, maybe this is the, maybe this thing had to be pulled home so many times that they just left the chain on it. And that's not all of it. That's crazy like that either. <laughs> 
Well, here's the interior, and it's about what you'll expect. And it has a significant windshield leak, too. Up in there. You warned me about that. I see it right there. Dripping. And there's water in the floor, but I did get under it and look to make sure that the floor panels are not rusted out or anything like that. I don't see any evidence of it, so wouldn't be awful shocked to get that thing out and there'd be some rust in it, but that's, you know, it's a good new part of the course, I guess. Let's get that out of the way. But inside, it's, you know, it's a bare bones work truck. It doesn't have power or anything. It's just got manual everything. The uh, handle's missing here. I've seen that before. It has a nail in the door panel for some reason. I don't know why that is. It's got the wrong knob on here. Um, this, these seats are just, God, I don't know what these seats are out of. This is not what it should have had in it. It should have had a bent seat. Because I, you may go back through way through my videos and I had one of these before. And it had a bent seat in it. And look, all this conglomeration here, I don't know what what that's out of. It looks like maybe a van or something. Or, well, I mean, it could be factory, but I'm kind of doubting that. I see, it looks like I see a license plate there. there. It's got a screw here. It's got a brake controller, looks like. Mark II. It's got the usual stuff here. Yeah. Yep, well, it's got, I think this windshield is glued in. I saw some, yeah, 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 it is. That's a good thing, because you can pull the windshield out, hopefully, and just get it resealed. Yeah, it's got a drift right there. Well, look at that, see, maybe it can be, maybe there's just a piece of the seal that's come out or something, you never know. So it's got the, it's kind of, Flick it off there. I thought the headliner was a little bit better than this, it but it's not. It's it's coming down back there. The door light things don't work. They're stuck in. This one is jammed all the way in. Dice has got the usual kind of going away stuff there. Man, that's that's awful. Uh, Yeah, boy, look at the back back here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to show you this. This is another, maybe this is another bad one. He's the plumber. Getting busy, 24 hours. Master plumber, plumber, something, drain cleaning, water purification, iron reduction, backup service, or warranty is available. And there is that Keith going into the commode. <laughs> there it is. But this guy just left me a tool bag with tools in it. And I asked him. I didn't take it. I asked him. I said, hey, bud, I said, you got your, you got a bag of tools back there. And he said, oh, you just, just keep that. It's just got stuff in it. So, I mean, <laughs> it's got tools in it. That's what I'm seeing. So, I don't get that out and use it <laughs> anyway i think this is the upholstery that's supposed to i'm sure of it. this is the upholstery that's supposed to be in here this looks like this seat leans up doesn't it because there's a pole or something back here yes yeah, oh oh boy oh man got some stuff back here got a got a good old time pole yeah. Good boy. I'm gonna touch this. Uh, that's a piece of a gutter right there. Yeah, that's the end of it. See, I see over there on the end of the house, there where the bounce spout is. That's where that piece is. Sure enough, there's two of them. Put that in my scrap thing, and then this, look at this. And a hole saw. Or if that's a Milwaukee hole saw, they just left it in there. seat there I guess and a whole bunch of hardware and stuff over there something with some seals on it nails with seals I guess or screws 
been a rat in here, a mouse or something. I can tell by looking at the stuff. But I see screws all over in here, and there's all on the floor. Yeah. This uh, door has gotten a little bit hard to close. Looks like I've seen, it looks like the thing might be scooted over, so I have to kind of work on that. It doesn't close all the way unless you really slam it. So it's gonna rain later on, looks like again, but I'm gonna just spend some time out here cleaning this out. You know, I, just, I don't know why people like to clean so much, but I, I see a lug missing off of there. I like it. I like to clean interesting things. I don't like boring stuff, but so anyway, yeah, it's got I may end up taking these seats out. I don't know what that is. I hope that's not a, another spit cup situation because I saw a young man that sold it to me and he was spitting chow out a lot. I don't know. It could be the original seats in here. They've got, but I don't. I just don't think so. It doesn't look right. Yeah, yeah. There's mouse stuff under there. Yep, yep. I have to get my mask. And I'm gonna have to be. I may have to. I'm gonna have to move this thing somewhere before I deal with those screws. I'm gonna have to move it where I can. Put a thing down so I, if I spill screws out of it, I don't run over my car out right here. So, oh, there's a socket. A little bit of a, I see some rust right here. I don't know what's going on with that. So, that may be before it gets better. Yep, there's no socket. What size is that? Socket 5 8. It's a Job Smart 18 millimeter. That's, that's okay. Take it. Got some stuff in here. Got a couple headlight bulbs and a bunch of stuff that I don't want to touch. Oh, oh, okay. Wait a minute. Got some anti-diarrheal that expired in 2013, and one of them's been used. Looks like a lot of been used. I'll be. Look at this. God, what would Mortsky say about this? Sockets? I got a socket set. Most of one. Oh, yeah. I've been waiting for this. Another gas station. USB adapter. I cannot get enough of these things. Some salt. Yeah. Oh, okay. Some cream. Oh, what kind of cream is it? Oh, it's toothpaste. Oh, that's good. Excellent. Love toothpaste. Some visine. Some pins. Some pepper. Salt and pepper. You know what? You, you, you don't need to go anywhere without salt and pepper heck is that? I have to look that up. That's got Irwin on it. That must be a, uh, you know what? I don't know what the hell that is. So anyway, yeah, I'll go through there. Uh, I gotta get my gloves on, guys. I'm not gonna, ugh, I'm not gonna do any more of that with just my bare hands. That's God, gross. Oh man, the, the lock thing is missing off of here. Well, let me, uh, let me get these uh, bed pins out. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Put those in a safe place there. If not, I don't want to lose them. <laughs> so, okay. I'm looking around here at this. Let's see. I think I could. So I was real 
after what I told you before, I was really concerned about this thing. Um, he didn't say it had any engine issues. But, you know, there again, for the cheap truck, you gotta have a running engine. And the first thing I noticed when I saw, he put a little video up, I saw a lot of stuff right here. This is water that's been blowing out. And I was really, really concerned about that because that's, you know, you gotta think about where's the water coming from. And it's, uh, somebody's broken the nipple looks like on this radiator and they tried to GAB weld it back on there. And the radiator's not that expensive for all these. I mean, it's not expensive enough to jeopardize overheating something like this. So, saw a lot of rusty coolant, which is not good ever, but of course, they've patched up the fan shroud also. That didn't hold. Just peel that right back off again. Uh, he has replaced the water pump, which is a good thing. He snapped off one of the bolts to the thermostat. There's supposed to be a thermostat in there. I don't know if there is one. We'll find out at some point. And he said also that he had replaced the coolant. So he's it's been running warm, apparently. So. My money would be based on the other ones of these I've had. I would say that the radiator is probably getting plugged up or the fan clutch is no good, but it feels okay. And when I stepped on the brakes one time, it felt like that I did not have any power assist and these would have a vacuum pump on them right here. That's this. So I have to see if that's actually working or not. Um, the belt looks good. I don't see any big, huge oil leaks. I didn't see anything else that just stood out bad. The air cleaner is missing. But the part of the air cleaner is missing. It's got a filter in it. It's got the pre-filter on it. The filter is, nah. Um, air filter guard, air filter gauge, excuse me. That's air filter gauge, except that. So I could all bust it out of there. That's good. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not that, not that knowledgeable about these power strikes. I've had one of them before. I did not keep very long. I know the cover's messed off of it, and it's, it's kind of ick. But I, I knew enough. I learned enough about these quickly to look down to see if it looked like it was oily standing oil down in it in the valley where the high pressure oil pump and all that is and it did not appear to be so uh, it was a little real low oil so he put some oil in it which that's not good so anyway when we ran this thing um, I paid particular attention to it, whether it had pressure in the cooling system that it shouldn't have, or did it have blow by and it passed each of those tests. Nothing, nothing bad sounded. I mean, I know these things are pretty legendary. They're hard to kill, but if you can do it, if you run it hot enough, I'm sure you can. I got a relay here that's mystery wire. You know the same deal. You know where we're going with all this. It's just like that tile, man. All the mystery wires and stuff had to be fixed. It's got a dauber nest in it. It's got a window screen down there. Can you believe that? Off a house. And that's the remains of the hood cable. I don't know why the window screen is in there. But the all the equipment for the hood latch is gone. There's nothing there. See, that's what you do. That's what you do. You just, if something makes you angry like that, like air conditioner that quits working or like the hood blows up. See, you gotta, you gotta get it. You gotta get it back. You gotta teach it a lesson, even though it's an inanimate object, you have to teach it a lesson by like removing it and getting rid of it totally out of your life. So you don't have to contemplate it. So here's the deal with this thing mechanically. This is what he said was wrong with it. He said it needs glow plugs and uh, I started it, it didn't act like it needed glow plugs. So we're gonna do a cold start on it here just momentarily. But the big thing he said, he said the transmission's giving problems and I believe that it is giving some problems because when I tried to back it up a couple times, it, it popped out of reverse. 
which is a common thing. Watch West Works, got a video repairing that very problem. And he said the transmission is leaking, but I didn't see. I was underneath this thing yesterday, laying underneath it. And it's a little wet, but nothing. The transmission's not that bad looking as far as leaks. But it very well could be low. And he said there was a nut that had come off or something out there. So I don't know what that's about. It's wind out here now. I'm not going to get out there and look at it, not this minute. But, um, and he said it was, he thought the second gear Something was wrong with it going into second gear, but I got it in the second yesterday, but I just didn't try to drive it. So we're gonna have to do a road test on this thing. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow and see exactly what kind of condition the transmission's in. If the clutch feels good on it. So that's gonna have to may, maybe, maybe not be addressed right now. But, uh, so by the way, it's a, this is a one ton truck and it's got 14 gears limited limited slip rear end that's a 10 and a quarter inch sterling rear end that's the same as what a dually uses so let's cold start this thing and we'll see we'll see if yeah somebody's here we go again somebody has screwed the somebody has screwed the door panel on I can't understand how cheap people are. They they just they make clips for those things every day and they will not go fix it the right way. Tell you something, I always I'm always critical of people down here. I say people down here do this stuff, but it, I think it's everywhere. People people will spend twice the time and twice the money to do something the wrong way just so they can think that they're doing doing better than just to fix it the correct way. Why? Mm. It doesn't smell too awful bad in here, but I've smelled better. But this seat is, this seat is like sitting in a, it's like sitting down in a hole and it's icky. Boy, it's nasty. Ugh. All right. He said he put a slave sitter on it too. So if the shifter feels okay. It doesn't feel like it's doing anything strange, but boy, it's been a while since I've been in one of these. All right, so we got a globe. <clears throat> it's gonna come up over here, white to start. Three hundred fifty-four thousand miles.
around the yard. I'm gonna put it over back over there, back behind everything. So like I said, if I spill some screws and stuff out, I won't get them in the car. So ABS lights on, that's the same as that one. just a little preliminary test and you can see it, it kicked out of reverse the first time and then it stayed in but it went it felt fine going the second it didn't pop out but he said in the ad he said it was he said you had to go to from first to third so okay i don't know we'll look into that further this thing's gonna need a heavy service so it's gonna need the oil change and filter changes and all that stuff that's gonna be first i'm gonna put around with the i'm gonna put around with the the cosmetics and stuff like that right now but that that's uh it appears to run fine so i'm gonna i was pointing at it under the hood it looks like it's got an exhaust leak at that clamp there on the turbo i think that's that pipe is that what that is Somebody create me, but I will learn about these things again. But anyway, uh, so we'll service the transmission and everything. And shoot, if reverse is the only thing that's giving problems, I'll just run this thing. I don't have to worry about that at all because I, I don't, you know, I won't be using it that much. So maybe I can coax that along for quite a while there. But anyway, all right, guys. Well, that's the walk around of this thing. And a little short test drive. I'm, uh, I'm very happy with this because uh, you are probably be a little super shocked. I'm, I'm not normally, I don't normally like to tell people what I pay for stuff because sometimes I make some really good deals and it's not, I'm not somebody that likes to gloat or rub something in and, and uh, all that. You know, it's just that sometimes anybody can find a really good deal and my hope is, instead of just saying, it's like, oh boy, that's a good deal, man. I got a great deal on that thing. Um, I try to keep my, the way I think about it in my mind, I think about, I hope that the money that I pay to that person gives them, open some opportunities up for them in the way they need it. I think maybe the young man didn't needed the money pretty bad. And so he got the money and I, hopefully that helps him. I think he had a baby. I heard him on the phone or baby in the background sound like so you know you never know what somebody's life story life situation is so you know it's just the way you know life brought me and that fellow together for this deal i mean i needed a truck and he apparently needed to make some money off of it so it worked out but 
I don't mind my building here. Maybe this thing, I've, I've made this thing last about three years and it's probably supposed to only last about one. But I'll tell you what I paid for it. I paid $2,000 for this and then $300 to get it home. And that's been my whole thing about getting finally, like I said if, in another video, if I'm not stupid enough to sell it. I've always struggled to have a truck and a trailer that if I found some kind of something I want to buy somewhere, I just never could do it. Never had the truck, uh, truck to do it. I didn't have a trailer. I had to go always rent stuff. I'm over it, you know. I'm past 50 years old now, and this is it. I'm, I mean, these things are going to be... The, the value on these and I didn't I didn't buy it to flip it or anything like that I'm just you know it's for my own usage but uh I just man these these things are going to continue to just to, the value is going to step I think I think what's going to happen if I'm looking at what's kind of happening on sales and stuff they're not worth a ton of money right now especially our work truck but I think the diesels are going to just continue to out value the gas burners. I think that's going to be a forever thing. I was wrong about the SUV. I was I, when I bought this when I bought this Tahoe or traded for it over there. I said, you know, this is going to be the this is going to be the next next big thing. They're going to everybody's going to be trying to snap up these SUVs because that's just going to be a trend. And I, I wouldn't say this thing, I, it's not, of course, it's not lost in value. It's worth more, probably twice.